All right, problem number seven. Find the value of k so that the line passes through 1, 2, and 4k and has a slope of 2. All right, so this is one of these ones that we've done in class where we kind of work it forwards as far as we can, and then the fact that they gave us the answer that the slope is 2, work it backwards. I'll do this both ways since, again, we know that some of you have chosen different methods. So starting off with the equation, um, slope is equal to y2 minus y1, that gives us the rise, x2 minus x1, that gives us the run, horrible two. Um, and again, so we know x and y, ooh, move my screen here, x and y, first x, first y, and then another x and y, but the second x and the second y. So plugging things into the appropriate spots, we get k minus, oops, sorry, that's a mistake k minus 2, so second y minus the first y, over second x minus the first x. And we get this, k minus 2 over 3. And that's as far as we can take it. All right, so we know we're going to get something over 3, question mark over 3. But we know the answer. We know the answer eventually will simplify down to 2. So now we start working backwards. We think to ourselves, all right, if the answer is two and it's something divided by three, what's this something? Well, if you think about it, do some mental math, that'd be six. Six divided by three would give us two. All right, so now we work backwards from there. That six should have come from here. So how? what do I need to choose for K that when I subtract two, I get six? Well, if you think again, mental math, that would be eight. 8 minus 2 gives us 6, and then 6 divided by 3 would give us the answer that they were looking for. So that means k equals 8. Now, the way to see this if you're doing a table rather than the formula would be this. 1, 2, 4k. We look at the jumps. The run jump on this side would be plus 3, and the rise jump would be question mark. We don't know. So we would say, all right, the slope is rise question mark run 3. Okay, same scenario is this does equal 2. So again, that backwards thinking going on, what divided by 3 would be 2? Well, we already figured that out. That'd be 6, which means the jump is 6 here, plus 6. So if I start at 2 and I jump 6, I would end up at k, and 2 plus 6, that would be 8. So once again, k equals 8 to make the whole thing work. 